Hi guys, I'm going to re-record this one because I wasn't happy with the way the last one turned out. Um, for this week's Trash Talking Tuesday, I am going to cover Tana. Uh, Tana Mojo. Now, and those that don't know who Tana is, she's an 18-year-old YouTuber. She's been on YouTube for a couple of years. And her story times made her rise to the fast pretty quickly. Now, the major issues with Tana that a lot of people have are um, that she's not really believable in that she's been proved to be a liar several times over um, with some of the details of the stalker, with the idol situation and with the situation surrounding her publicist. Now, if you're unaware of either of those, um, Tana stated that when she was rather young, there was this kid at school that had a, th that had a bit of a crush on her. She turned him down and he got obsessive and he started stalking her and messaging her and ringing her. So initially they got him, so, you know, they got, I think they got him expelled or suspended or something. And then he came back again when she was in her early teens. This time he went a bit too far and he went to prison. I'm not 100% sure. But he ended up in jail for some reason, which would have been juve in this case. Um, and then she said, that she said that since he's been out, which has been the last couple of years, he's been in a house taking pictures, been doing weird things. But a lot of the facts aren't really trustable because she says she's got this stalker but she says that she doesn't want the door because she's got high security which makes no sense whatsoever and a lot of the stories she states don't make any sense there's the issue with the email that actually came from somebody else and the story wasn't even changed she changed some of the details in the story to fit the description of her um, and a lot of the weird, weird things happened. She said that she checked if this guy, um, if the story was something were online that somebody's just sending to her as a prank. Turns out she didn't do that because, you know, multiple people have turned around and said that, um, she's lied about, about all that because they have no proof of it. Um, she won't provide proof. Um, then there was the whole... Um, situation with the publicist where she said that she paid the publicist um, above the minimum wage which apparently she paid a ten pound, uh, $10 an hour so that, I think that's around minimum wage um, said that she was paid well which she wasn't and said that she took advantage of this and that and the other publicist said None of, none of any of that. So, again, that puts into question a lot of her believability, as does the whole idol situation. The way she described it straight after it happened, which is one of the worst ways of doing it, is that she, um, you know, that he had old of it like this. When he didn't, he had old of it like this. That he said it menacingly and he didn't. And... She made him out to be a nasty piece of work. Now, I do. Some people view him as nasty. Some people don't. To me, he's 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 a social commentary. He does a lot of videos like what I do. I do social commentary videos. I don't do drama videos because if I did drama videos, I'd be talking about everybody all the time. Um, a lot of what I do is social commentary. So, and she. Perplexes me, and then as a byproduct of that in th uh, incident, she stated that there were people still alive that were once slaves. When the last person that was slave to well, the last person who was a slave died. In, I think it was either the eighties or the seventies um, or the eighties, maybe the early nineties. So no, they're not. There's nobody alive anymore that was a slave. Um, then there was this whole Coachella thing that has been proven to be false because the person who sold her the ticket has since showed proof that 
the ticket can be scanned multiple times that it was a true ticket with audited information and everything so a lot of drama youtubers do have the are they believable thing now um, the only um, storytelling youtuber I trust is probably the Gabby show and the reason being is because she doesn't just do story times. She doesn't just, just sit there and tell stories. Tana does. And the other issue with Tana that I have is she's a role model for kids. A lot of the people who watch her are like 10 and up. And the stuff she talks about is absolutely grotesque. She talks about drugs. She talks about um, parties, um, getting drugged at parties, this, that and the other. And to me... I'm sorry, but if if my child was watching her, they'd be grounded, because I do not see her as a role model in any way, shape, size, or form. Um, there are numerous reasons behind this, obviously, but the main reason is that, to me, a role model should be mother, father, older sibling, auntie, uncle, or cousin. It shouldn't be an outside influence. Which is something I'm glad that um, my nephew has in spirit, as, as does my friend's little girl. They have plenty of role models in their life that, you know, are reasonably understanding, which is good. But at the end of the day, to me, Tana is one of these kids that a lot of the issues with her are coming from the lack of education. Um, there's a lot of the time she says things, and I'm, I'm, I just sit there and I think, do you realise how dumb you sound? Now, I don't know what level of education she has. I don't know if she's got a high school diploma. But what I do know is that she is very much a... still a child. And her actions, to me, are indicative of her being a child. Um, she really has no sense of what she should be doing because she just sits in front of a computer and just talks and sometimes she just sit, sit there thinking really this 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 girl has millions of subscribers and she's not to me she shouldn't be a role model i'm sorry but she shouldn't um but like again, again some of that fits with the whole fact that i don't think youtubers should be role models stop but that's just my opinion like I said I wanted to redo this video because the other one wasn't as cohesive uh, so I'm gonna edit this now for it to go up tomorrow um, so if there's anyone you want me to cover it next week I might do Keemstar or I might do somebody else I don't know yet I don't know because next week's um, mail um, somebody of the male gender um, that is going to get talked about because I try and alternate every week alternate it every week but last week because I did Trisha and then I did a video on on easy on I had to do another woman this time um, but that's this week's Trash Talking Tuesday like I say if there's anyone you want me to cover let me know down below I will see you soon stay safe have fun I'll talk to you later